Hey guys, I was working on some other projects, wanted to talk to you really quick because I fairly recently, I think it was like early January, I got my labs back. Uh, I did a full physical, I got all my labs done, and I wanted to share with you something pretty cool. All my labs are great, uh, so spoiler, all my labs are great, but I wanted to share with you something extra special. And this is especially for all those guys out there. And I know uh, a lot of women uh, watch our channel and it's great. And you know, in general, I wanna shout out to all the moms and the women in general because you are the, usually the first to adopt healthy changes in the family. You are the first to usually push us men who, who may be thick headed or, or don't really understand or see the importance of health and nutrition. So thank you so much. But for all the guys out there, I gotta share something with you, okay? I wanna share my testosterone level because I get this all the time. And there's so many functional uh, you know, medicine doctors or other you know, personal trainers or bodybuilders who worry about not getting enough cholesterol. So dietary cholesterol and that affecting their testosterone, right? Or this idea that you're eating vegan or you're eating plant-based so you're not gonna be as manly. Okay, I know, you know, I, I watch Joe Rogan and Joe Rogan mentions this a lot and he's always talking about, no nah, man, you need meat, you know, you need the cholesterol to make hormones, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, I, I want to just share something. I know I'm just one person, but even all the research out there shows that our body produces, you know, cholesterol, our body produces the cholesterol needed for our hormones. Now, there's so much science behind this, I won't get too far into it. I just wanted to quickly update you on my labs and where I am with my testosterone because I've been on a whole food plant-based diet going on seven years now. So I had seven years of absolutely no animal products in my diet, okay? Let me say that again. Seven years of no eggs, no cheese, no dairy, no you know anything from dairy, right? Butter or milk. You know, no red meat, no fish, no chicken, no lamb, no pork, you know, except you get the idea, right? So absolutely no products whatsoever, as well as, you know, meticulously reading labels and making sure there's no hidden animal products. Okay, so I wanna make that very clear. So the healthy testosterone level for men is roughly 280 nanograms per deciliter to 1,100 nanograms per deciliter, okay? Now, mine was 853, so good, and also on the upper end, okay, of, of my testosterone level. So, what does that mean? Well, I feel really good when I work out, my testosterone level's really great, and so are my other lab readings, you know? Everything else, you know, I eat a high carbohydrate diet, and again, but it's the whole food carbohydrates. My A1C was great, my blood glucose was great, everything is looking great. And so on top of that, I wanted to share this testosterone because for all the guys out there, we're always so worried about this plant-based diet not providing enough of the growth we need if we're working out or the, the manliness we need to be a man in the family and protect our family or you know whatever that kind of evolutionary feeling is. But I can tell you, I feel strong, I feel good, and now my labs back that up because my testosterone is ideal. And I think even with a lot of guys out there who take testosterone supplements want to get where I am, and I take no supplements, and I'm on a whole food plant-based diet, which for so many say, well, you don't get enough cholesterol. But the science says we make cholesterol. And if you look at our GI tract, we're more designed to eat a majority of plant foods, okay? So I'm not saying, look, all of you have to go vegan tomorrow. For me, if I could share very quickly, you know, it took me, even with the seven years of being whole food plant-based, it probably took me two or three years before that to get up to being whole food plant-based, okay? So technically I've been vegetarian, you know, or in that scope of this vegan vegetarian for almost 10 years. But those first two to three years was more slowly phasing out foods, right? Red meat, then chicken, then fish, then eggs, and then cheese, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it took me a long time to build up. It didn't just happen overnight. And for so many of you, I usually don't recommend that because you are gonna go through almost like a detoxing phase. You're gonna feel funny. You're gonna feel a little more tired. Maybe you get headaches and joint pain because your body's gonna be detoxing, okay? But anyway, back to my original point. My testosterone's great, my testosterone's high. It's one more case study to add to the fact that whole plant foods 
can keep you healthy and especially for males they can keep your testosterone where it needs to be if you're looking to make gains if you're looking to lean out if you're looking to just have great workouts or great cardiovascular workouts men need that testosterone especially as I get older I'm very happy because my testosterone is right where it needs to be if anything it's, it's extremely optimal and I'm excited because I'm only getting older and my testosterone looks great so for so many of us men, we hear as we get older, our testosterone drops and you gotta watch out and you gotta take supplements or do this or do that, or your hair is gonna fall out. Mine's looking good and it's all, I think it's all thanks to my lifestyle and a whole food plant-based diet, which is a huge part of my lifestyle. So I didn't wanna get too sciencey in this video. I'll put links down below to some uh, research articles and some other articles that you could look at. And I hope I'm just another testament to the story of a whole food plant-based diet is great for your testosterone.